Well, it's time now for perspective. In the east of Paris lies the Palais de la Porte Dorée, a fascinating building adorned with sculptures of elephants, zebras and ships. It was originally built in 1931 to house the Paris Colonial Exhibition and has gone through many iterations, but since 2007, it's housed France's National Museum of the History of Immigration and there's also a tropical aquarium in the basement. And as of this month, the site has a new director, historian and academic pub and Jai, and he joins me now on set. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us Pleasure. here on France 24. Now, you are a historian, an author, an academic. What drew you to this role? Well, I think that there is a connection between uh, teaching uh, in a higher education institutions, such as Sciences Po, where I taught, and uh, this uh, new uh, position, since it's about pedagogy, it's about explaining the history of immigration, the history of colonization, as well as you mentioned, this building built in 1931 for the Paris uh, colonial exhibit. So there are indeed uh, connections, and I think it's a good thing that uh, academics work a bit into uh, these uh, cultural institutions a little outside of their uh, comfort zone, so to speak. Now, the museum's uh, permanent exhibition traces uh, waves of uh, immigration uh, out of France, also into France over the past uh, few centuries. But until now, the museum's permanent exhibition hasn't necessarily focused on the slave trade. And that's something that you're hoping to change. Indeed, the uh, old exhibit focused very much on the European migrants coming to France from the late 19th century all the way to uh, the current period, when we really try now to focus on a more global France that includes the empire and the colonial world. That is why when it comes to the 18th century, a large place will be devoted to the slave trade, uh, which is part of our history. It's about a migration to a very forced and violent migration indeed, but it should be included in such a museum. So we have a much wider understanding of what migrations mean and what it means for the current French society. And do you think that wider French society is ready to confront that extremely difficult past, that side of French history? I believe so. And I believe that French society is a little ahead of politics in many ways and the political world. And I've seen many, many examples this past few years, including the uh, exhibit that took place at Orsay on the Modèle Noir, uh, which had a tremendous success and not much about polemics that really show that people are really open to discuss these ideas and these uh, historical facts, provided that they are well presented, that they are also um, uh, presented in a way that is uh, scientific, uh, that is also trying to connect the personal history of the visitors to the France grand master narrative of history. And for those of our viewers who don't know about that uh, exhibition at the Musée d'Orsay, can you just give us an idea of, of what that consisted of? It was about uh, the paintings of black persons from the late 18th century to the mid 20th century. So this was the first time when a major museum such as Orsay uh, offered uh, an exhibit that was about uh, black persons. Uh, and the way they were painted by French painters uh, in the 19th uh, century. So this drew a lot of uh, attention, some critics, of course, but mostly a, a lot of praise from uh, nearly a half million visitors who uh, went and see this uh, um, uh, uh, path-breaking exhibit. Now, there is uh, a lot of hot debate uh, in France right now about what some establishment figures uh, are seeing as a damaging anti-Republican obsession with social justice, an obsession with woke values. What's your take on this apparent desire to suppress some of that post-colonial discourse? I think that post-colonial studies are well established on the international levels. Uh, if you look at British universities or American uh, universities, they're, they're the current international connections discussing issues of post-colonialism are extremely important. And it would be a pity if French universities were to be a part of this international conversation. So it is absolutely crucial that post-colonial studies have some 
uh, room to grow, they also attract a lot of attention from students. So I do defend the use, the necessity, and the interest of post-colonial studies as they allow us to understand what remains of colonialism in our current society. We're not an empire anymore in France, for, example, for sure, but skin color still matters in our society, just like it matters in the UK or in the United States and many countries throughout the world. And I think it's important to study that. And not everyone in French government would agree with you. This idea of universalist French Republican uh, principles, égalité, fraternité, apparently the French state is colorblind, but that's not something that you agree with. Well, it's colorblind on paper, but the reality of French society is that it is not colorblind. So people who study the racial inequalities in our society are not against the principles of the French Republic. They just say that this is not the reality, so we need to focus on reality and hope that one day French uh, society will not be based on skin color and will welcome all citizens regardless of their origin, which is not the case yet. Now, there are, it has to be said, few non-white heads of big French cultural institutions. You're mixed race, you're half Senegalese, half French. Um, do you feel a responsibility to be an advocate for diversity? I think so. I think I believe in the importance of role models in French society. The, the fact that uh, when a black child, for example, looks at me and says, oh, well, he's the head of a museum. I had no idea that a person like me could do that. I think that it opens the way for dreams, for possibilities, for uh, perspectives, for projects. Uh, which are too often lacking among uh, part of uh, the youth and part of our population. So I'm not proud of my position. I'm just seeing myself as opening the way and hoping that children will uh, stand on my shoulders one day. Now, of course, museums across France are closed until further notice. A weird time to be taking the reins of such a big cultural institutions. What are the challenges ahead for you? Well, it, it gives me a lot of time to think and also remodel the permanent exhibit uh, we were talking about in the history uh, of immigration. It's also time to think about the uh, forthcoming exhibit, such as the Picasso exhibit opening in the fall. So all museums, including mine, are very busy these days doing a lot of work that would be a little harder uh, to carry out uh, with uh, visitors, but we so look forward uh, to welcoming our new visitors by mid-May, possibly. Fingers crossed. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Papenjai, uh, director of the Palais de la Porte d'Orée, thank you very much for speaking to us here on France 24. Thank you.